Hey guys, I wanted to give you an update on what the developers and community managers have released with us today uh, going forth into the maintenance tomorrow and spoiler alert, it's some good news for the most part. First, I want to just go over that they have announced that the Dave of Past Season 3 will begin after maintenance tomorrow, uh, starting the 18th of August and running until September 14th. And I'll leave a link below so you can skim through this yourself, but there is quite a few changes uh, that differ from the Korean Dave of Past Season 3. So, and some of these changes are welcomed uh, by the player base for the most part. For example, they are restoring some pets and coins that we requested that were from Season 1 that we didn't want to see go away. So they're going to be back in there. You're going to be able to get silver, gold, and platinum coins along with some pets. Uh, they're going to also allow us to get some dyes. Even if you don't buy the David Pass, you'll be able to achieve a couple dyes. And if you do buy the David Pass, you'll get some more unique dyes. They will also be offering the cell phone emote card which I know this was really popular on retail so I'm sure that it will be well received by the community and most players will really like it and it looks like it will be attainable early in the season so it might be one of the early rewards you won't have to work that hard to obtain it and that's great hopefully this is a permanent emote and not just a temporary one but we'll have to wait until tomorrow to find out uh, they also added cosmetics to the Day of a Pass, which is something we've been asking for since Season 1. And although I'm not a fan of these outfits, they are unique. They're something we haven't seen for a while. And it's just nice that they're finally listening to the player base and they're going forth and adding cosmetics. So that is a great addition. They're also bringing back the 30-day 24-slot storage pet. Uh, it sucks that it's only 30 days, but it's nice to have those 24 extra slots. So we'll have to wait to see what other goodies are coming out with the David Pass tomorrow once it launches. But these are some really good welcome changes. Second thing I want to go over is we. It does not look like we are actually getting 1.5 tomorrow, like many people speculate it, including myself. Uh, we really honestly thought that we would get 1.5 tomorrow because it looked like we were following the Korean market scheme and they got 1.5 after two season passes and we just finished our second season pass and one expected it to come out because some people are getting a little bored in game so they're looking for things to do so we thought for sure it'd come out doesn't look like it this week maybe more likely to happen next week we'll have to take a look and see what happens the third thing I want to cover is we got quite a bit of communication from the community managers today which is always nice to see we even got to see he may uh, post something which we haven't seen her post on the forums for a very long time I don't think she's posted at all this year to be honest so it's nice to see that there's more than just kibbles interacting with the player base. It shows that NC West is actually reaching out and trying to communicate with the customer base, which is what we have been asking for for the last, well, for quite a while. Uh, another thing, if you missed my video earlier, they did start talking about the botting issue and they have actually said that they are going through and looking for the bots in game they are actually logging into the game I know I can't believe it either and they are going around on their own looking for bots they also mentioned in another post that they have gone ahead and they tested the in-game uh, auto hunting feature to make sure it is working so you can check my previous video on how to use that function if you don't know it already but there is a functioning game in your actions tab where you can report players that are botting and if enough reports are filed on a single player it does sus suspend the account so that way you don't have to create a petition on the website and worry about frapping uh, the player botting or none of that nonsense it's way more easier and convenient but as you can see scrolling through this is all from today 
this is great kibbles if you watch this thumbs up on communicating this is what we need to see more of and I just want to say for all those out there that have said that yes there's issues but we're not going to say anything about it. we're not going to complain about it we're not going to sign the petition that's been going around because nothing is going to change they had no faith in the community reaching out to NC West and NC West actually listening to the player base and listening to their paying customers and making an attempt to change things I think this is a great first step for them and I hope to see a lot more of this progression that they are showing uh, one final note is on the seal server it did crash last night and that seems to have caused an issue where we didn't receive our in-game surveys that had the blar mats along with the XP amlets uh, they do have that up and running now if you haven't already claimed it for today make sure you log in and claim those uh, they did extend the hour to obtain it by 10 hours hoping to catch the players that might have missed the window to claim that so if you're not haven't already like i said before make sure you log in that's all i have for you guys for tomorrow's maintenance uh, i hope you guys like this video share with your friends pass the word around that nc west is making proactive changes hopefully this help brings back uh some of the players that have recently left from the game and helps retain the player base that we do have as always i hope to see you guys in game